Now I'm going to show you how to work with quick controls. So I already have all my hubs enabled. I have devices added. I have scenes and routines added. The moment you add your first device, scene or routine, the quick controls menu will pop up right here. This gives you instant access to your devices. So right now I have just the flashlight selected for long press on the select button. So when I hold the select button down for four seconds, the flashlight comes on. Hold it down for four more seconds and it goes off. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign three X clicks to an action. And I'm gonna do bloom on, save. And now when I tap the select button three times, my this routine will uh, actuate. So now I'm gonna do four X press and I'm gonna do Bloom off, save, and now when I tap it four times, it's gonna go off. So here's my bloom right here. This is a Philips Hue bloom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and now test these quick controls. So I'm gonna tap three times. And that turns the bloom on. And now I'm gonna do four times. And that turns it off. So you can add up to six, six times press on the select button and memorize those. And, and then you don't even need to reach and into your pocket and grab your OmniFob and look at the screen. You can just do it without looking. So it's really nice to have that for your most frequently used devices, routines, and scenes. Now be careful with the long press mode button. This, if you put it in your pocket or purse, there is a chance you might accidentally hold this down for too long and activate something you don't want to. And the OmniFob will work no matter where you are because it works through Wi-Fi. So if you're showing somebody your OmniFob and they start clicking buttons, you could be actuating those quick controls all the way back at home and you don't know it. <clears throat> so just be careful. Thanks.